Here's another example for uh, sharing deformation. So it's a sample problem. Um, by the way, the complete statement of the problem is in the description of this video. So you can access the, uh, you can see the problem for details. No? But uh, here are the given, um, given details. We have the dimension of the rod. Now we have a cylindrical rod, solid rod, which is actually in a test experiment. No? So we have uh, the dimensions of the diameter 5, 8 inches and then the length is 5 inches. And then given with the um, load, the tensile forces of 800 pounds. So this uh, particular rod is uh, stretch, stretch uh, along the y direction. And then you have the given elongation, which is 0.45 inches or inch. And then we have the change in diameter, 0 0.025 inch. So, as you can see, the this elongation here, uh, it's in the y direction. So, we can have this as the deformation y. And then the change in diameter is the diameter here is in the x direction. So, you can have the change in diameter as the deformation in the x direction. So, you can have this as... Uh, this is a uh, deformation y and then you have this as the deformation x so we are requiring this problem to solve for the modulus of elasticity e the modulus of um, rigidity g and then you have the poisson's ratio as v so solution our working equations here we know that um, the modulus of elasticity is just equal to um, stress over uh, strain this is based on uh, Hooke's law and since we have here the application of the force is in the y direction we can have this as stress y over your strain y and then you have the Poisson's ratio v this is equal to negative again the longitudinal direction now is your y direction so you have the denominator as y and then we can make use of the relationship between the E, G, and V. So you just have to memorize this one. Yes, you have E, 2 plus 1 plus V. Now, so this is the relationship of the three parameters. And just you can solve G with E and V given. <clears throat> so let's examine um, our working equations. Uh, first, you have the E. We can solve for the stress Y by p over area so this is just normal stress and you can solve the strain by just making use of deformation divided by original length and we can also solve this one by making use again of the deformation along the x-axis divided by the original um, diameter no? since it's in the x-axis so first we find the stress y stress y is just uh, p over a which is uh, P is again 800 pounds your area is uh, pi over 4 d squared or 5 over inch, uh, 5 8 square so we have stress y this is equal to 2 point 60 76 times 10 to the 3 psi we also have um, the ey or the strain y is just equal to the deformation y divided by the original length so we're given with the deformation y here 0.45 the original length is 5 inches so we have 0 0.090 so solve for the strain x just equal to the deformation x over the original diameter so here we have the given 0 0.025 0 0.025 inches divided by the original diameter is 5 over 8 inches which is now equal to negative 0 0.040 negative because the <coughs> diameter <coughs> is shortened so it's decrease in length or decrease in diameter so we can also solve for E, knowing we have now the EY and the stress Y. So E is just equal to, again you have the stress Y, strain Y is just equal to 2.6076 times 10 to the positive 3 
PSI divided by your uh, strain Y which is dimensionless 0 0.090 see correct answer is 28 28.973 times 10 to the 8 PSI and then you have the V or this Poisson's ratio so you have negative of EX is negative 0 0.040 divided by the EY which is 0 0.090 it's uh, 0 0.444 and then we have the G which is just uh, basically the using this relationship you have the E is uh, 28.97 times 10 to the 8 PSI divided by 1 plus 0 0.444 your G is just uh, 10 point zero two nine times 10 to the 6 PSI so now have your answers now you have the E you have the V and then you have the G so you, you, you can also say that this is 29 times 10 to the 8 PSI you can have this as 0.44 you can have this as 10.03 times 10 to the BSI. So, again, this is, uh, just made use of the, um, these equations again to solve for the three required um, values.